If you talk into the soundboard too, it'll pick up your voice. In the holes of back here. You have to be loud for it to be yeah, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> We're here with Emily Hopkins, master harp player, YouTuber, and fellow guitar pedal enthusiast. Hey guys, <laughs> thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. But let's start from the beginning. Okay. What is a harp? This is a pedal harp, and this is a lever harp. That has levers on each string, so that is to change the key signature. If you want to change keys, you move the levers up and down, it changes. Or if you run it through a pedal effect, you can get a weird buzz. Or it's a bit nice of distortion. Yeah. yeah. So that's another thing if you're not familiar with Emily. You run this through a lot of effects. Yes. They both have factory installed pickups. Piezo? Right yeah, piezo pickups. We plug right in and we run it through effects. Like, that's my whole thing. I love yeah. doing that. Uh -huh. <laughs> On pedal harp, you change a key with the seven foot pedals. You can see the little gears moving. Whoa. And they're actually, yes. So you're changing keys as you're playing? Yes. <laughs> So it's double action. Yeah. And they're actually changing the length of the string. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, just like putting your finger down on a fret on a guitar. The only two that, that don't so have cool. it are these two low ones. They uh -huh. don't have any tuning pins, so you'd mm -hmm. have to tune them to what you want. But like, they're so low anyway. Like, who's playing? Who's playing down there? Well, like, me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I didn't get this harp with the intention of using it with pedal effects, actually. I got this so I could amplify at weddings. This one is separated into three different sections. So there's a pickup section for the bass strings, a pickup section for the mid, and a pickup section for the high. And oh, then there's yeah. another output that sums all of them. That's like a, a mic in there. It's all piezo, but it combines all the strings. Modulation and effects up here, but keep this. Just yeah, and like keep a that or Yeah, something. we can get pretty crazy with splitting the output and splitting. Yeah. We usually put like distortion on the bass because it works best there. Of course. Yeah, and the harp is so resonant. So when you put mm. distortion anywhere else, it's like, all right, like this is a lot. You know, this yeah. is a lot to handle. <laughs> so you have three <laughs> levers here. What do these do? They go in order. This pedal is for the D strings, C, B and then E, F, G, A. And they're not just straight in order because they want to oh, make your seven. life difficult. Yeah, yeah. they want to make your life harder. So you have to mm -hmm. memorize when they're in the top position, they're flat. And when they're in the middle, they're natural. I should have wore different shoes for this. Like I wore the most clunkiest boots in the world. <laughs> Push down is sharp. So now they're all sharped. Put it back in natural. Now you're back in C, C major. That is so cool. And with this, you would have to go in and move everything. Yeah, that one's more time consuming. Yeah. My repertoire is way more expansive on pedal harp because I can do those quick changes. Two flats, uh -huh. here we go, push, yeah. okay, they're good. Harp is for babies, it's so easy. Once you set your key, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's technique heavy, but like, once you set your key, like, you're good. Oh, I think I we got to start heart. a band. Yeah. You just play something, I go right to thirds. Yeah. Thirds are always a safe yeah. bet. Like any interval, because you're in the key, so yeah. you should be fine. I could play like that. I, don't, I, I need your technique. Like, I don't even know. Like... <laughs> I'm just taking what I know on guitar. And I love that. Yeah, it's kind of a theme of this channel. I'm strumming with my two fingers and then one, two, three on the way back up. And with my left hand, I'm just muting the strings I don't want to hear. So I'm getting a nice third and just. Oh my God. And okay. so I'm just moving that position. Okay, I'm going to steal this from you. Just yeah, so you yeah, know. Go for it. This whole segment, I think to the second octave is nylon. These are actually gut strings. 
So kind of gross, but they're made of animal intestines, mm. which I feel bad about as a vegetarian. I'm like, sorry, everyone. Like, sorry, animals. <laughs> like, but like, that tone is just so rich. Like, I feel so bad. It's the smell that gives it away. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Those strings are quality strings. I can smell them from here. <laughs> these are gut strings, and then these are the wire bass strings. Could I get a guitar pick for that IG? Or is that? Yeah, do it. Yeah. Shall we switch? Yeah. Well, this one's the real deal. Oh. Ooh, it's yeah. intimidating. I know. Don't be scared. I always tell everyone, like, don't be scared. You lean it back on your shoulder. You support the harp with your knees, like with your legs. Shoulders, no tension. Your wrist position is very important. you're doing that like you're taking your three fingers and like playing on are you playing on the same yeah. string yeah this is just full-on bass guitar on the bass because the strings are like they have a lot of tension and they're really really big you don't strike it like this like you would on a harp or like finger picking mm -hmm. but it's almost like your fingers are straight you get the string with a lot of power yeah I'm like not okay. angled like this you just like oh that. my god my harp teacher would hate this yes oh my yeah. god don't tell her that I'm doing this yeah she would this hate is, it. you can do that with two like a walking bass line but then you can also use all three. That's more of a death metal bass type of thing, which makes a lot of sense on harp. And then... That's what I want to learn how to do. That is so yeah. cool. To get to the triplets, you just add in the ring finger, and then that one usually accents it too. So by... But yeah, it's the same thing where it's just kind of... This is insane. I love this. You know what I would really love to learn? I've been referring to harp harmonics my whole life, uh, but I've never done a harp harmonic on a harp. Okay, you have to cut the string in, in half with yep. your palm, and you just you just pluck it like that. Yeah. And I recently learned that there's also Beautiful. quarter harmonics. I'm not an expert at harmonics either. Like sometimes it's like a 50-50 shot if I'm gonna get it or not. I feel the same as a guitar player. Like pinch harmonics are like really, really finicky. And that's when like in a metal band, if you're bump, 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 weep, the, the, the weep is <laughs> Wait, a, what is it? Do it again, do it again. Weep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bump, 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 <laughs> yep. Those, those oops are, are pinch harmonics. Oh my God, okay. It sounds a lot better distorted. <laughs> You're getting the node point with your thumb right oh. after you pluck it. So there's certain spots in the strings where it works and certain spots where it doesn't. And that's how that works. So you're smacking the string into your thumb in the right spot. I'm trying to find a way to gent on harp because yeah. I really want to. And if we get like a strike, that, that might, that might yeah. do it. Yeah, okay, we yeah. gotta put that through distortion at some point. Let me show you a harp harmonics on the guitar. Okay. We don't normally use the, the palm. You use one finger, and then you can move it around, like if you're fretting. That so type nice. of thing. Yeah, you oh, can do it with the, with the seventh, too. There's just so many options with it. It sounds harpy. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so the red one. Red strings are C, and I your black imagine. strings are F. Because a lot of people ask why the strings are different colors, and if they were all just clear or white, you'd like, just be lost. I mean, you'd have to like hardcore memorize. Yeah, just like fret markers. How many strings does this have? This one has 44 strings, and this one has 34 strings. Wow, um, so, well, that wins. Oh, that's mm -hmm. so cool. I feel special. It has yeah. so many strings now. <laughs> if you're getting like a concert grand harp, usually they have 47, and I don't miss those three strings, honestly. Yeah. Rugrats, so beautiful before. People, when they think of the harp, they say, oh, like you only play with your first four fingers. You don't play with your pinky. Isn't that limiting? But actually it kind of, you can play so many notes, especially if you roll quick. Just like a natural movement of your hand, like moving over and like crossing over. Yeah, 
That is so cool. Now I want to hear particularly how you play harp, which is very, very different than the average <laughs> harp player, and how I found you on YouTube because I went down a guitar pedal rabbit hole. And As then, we all do. Yeah. yeah. Russ is going to be manning the pedal board. Yeah. Let's see what they sound like. Emily, <laughs> holy <laughs> It's like the end of a video game. Titus didn't make it, but you know that his sacrifice exactly. was worth it. I get a lot of comments from people that are like, why would you use pedal effects with harp when the harp already sounds so beautiful? I'm like, well, added beauty, yeah. it's so cool. What are you putting it through? We designed that board so that I can change the effects with the plus pedal, especially that corner of the board, the plus pedal, the expression roller. What does the expression roller do? Sorry to cut you off. Oh, no, please. I get comments all the time on how I cut people off. I'm sorry, no, no, I just no, get excited. Please. So this is uh, connected to the reverse delay effect. So Let, let's let's go back. Reverse delay effect. Let me turn everything else off. So it plays back reverse little segments of what your previous plan was. It's yeah. a delay, but it plays the delay in reverse. We have the the mix of the reverse delay controlled by this roller. So if you're playing, you just roll it up with your feet, and it comes in, and it kind of just sounds good on everything. This is like a sustain pedal. Yeah, I've seen those. Yeah. I love those kinds. So. Oh my god. Right? So we have a reverb in the effects loop. It's my so effect. It's it just like my makes favorite it more effect. ambient. It's so good. And then we right, have so, wait, wait, wait. So back up a little bit. Yeah. I'm sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. So we got the expression pedal that gives you more or less reverse delay. Then you have the sustain pedal, which is a really cool design. Whatever notes you're playing there, you put that down and it's freezing. Yeah. And then what was the next one? This one's like a kind of like a, a ambient gain overdrive. It's a preamp with reverb and some gain control and a feedback loop. So it kind of just creates some spacey stuff. So adding more to the bed. To exactly. The and then there's... It's such a great feeling. The first yeah. time I heard just reverb alone on the harp, my head was like, what? Like, cool. like it was a, it was a whole new world. Bit. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. And then we got like a delay, uh, but it's like a crunchy delay. It's like yeah. a bucket brigade. Sequencer. <laughs> now it's your own video game. Yeah, but we can also, so this, this controls presets on that pedal, so we could just make it like a synth sound. I love wow. that. Yeah, that's really This one's a bit crusher. It works really well in the higher register, yeah. too. And this one's a reverb. When you turn it all the way up, the mix all the way up, it starts to sound like almost like a string section. Yeah. Ooh, love that. This is called Microcosm. It's like an insane ambient machine. Yeah. So uh, this is my favorite setting. sustain note I can mix in separately from everything else so if it gets a little overbearing I can dial back yeah. or we could just turn the regular harp off just have that sustaining note and I can just play over that so they're just separate channels and it's really helpful wow that just sounds absolutely beautiful too the fact
Max. Thank you. We were talking before the cameras on like that trope of like angels play harp. This is the sound they're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. I like but how you have an effects team. Yeah, no, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> like, Do you want to try it? You can try yes. it. But okay, yes, I was going to say, work. okay. <laughs> low chords too when they ring out they're so nice oh right now you're not in c either you're still you're in e flat oh. so if you want to go to c you can, can we, yeah can you yeah, yeah, yeah can you give me to c listen to the levers going through the board listen when they change oh yeah if you talk into the soundboard too it'll pick up your voice in the holes of back here hey hello <laughs> You have to be loud for it to be yeah, loud. Yeah, you have to, yeah, you have to yell like right into the sound hole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, hard people? Harpers are gonna hate me. <laughs> Which of the holes was your yelling hole? So right? you were into it's yelling. Like yeah, yeah, right? yeah. We're just right there. Yeah. Shall we put it through some distortion? with some distortion right on it. we try out this thing it sounds insane we just got it like it sounds Final like so, yeah like amazing. it sounds like yeah. i'm going to get killed yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, as much distortion as possible, please. Hmm, if I can mute this one, palm mute these. Hold on. I love how you're holding it right now. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my god. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so all I need to do is hold the harp sideways and yeah, like, that's, yeah. that's the technique. I yeah, got it. Yeah, I mean, obviously. <laughs> oh, you palm you to way up here. Ooh, Ooh. that makes more sense. That makes hold more on, sense. Hold on, hold on. Could you come over here and just mute this one string? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just takes three people to do this. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. like that. It's so hard to uh, keep the strings from vibrating that you don't want. I know. That's my life. The struggle. I, I have, yeah. I have a really intense noise gate on this right now too. <laughs> yeah. And even with it, the resonance of it's insane. is I know. crazy. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we would go to the fart pedal, but <laughs> you have it? Yeah, let's we do it. Yeah, let's pedal. do it. Why not? Are you ready for the fart pedal? Yeah. 
Wait. <laughs> that's that's it. Now, what's the wet dry switch do? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. The wet. So, <laughs> a whole new meaning to so, wet. Yeah. Uh, the wet is just wet sounding parts. So, oh, yeah. and they are different. <laughs> oh. this, and this is dry. <laughs> that's pretty oh, dry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, what if it's I just... It's amazing. <laughs> it doesn't care. So yeah. it doesn't care about what note you play? It's Any just... audio signal triggers the recording of a fart. Oh, okay. It's hysterical. If you yell into it... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's so good! Oh, no! <laughs> Well, I think that's the video. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to Emily Hopkins here for more harp action. And you can subscribe to this channel as well if you would like. I'm sure this isn't the last time we do something like this. We're just barely even scratching the surface of yeah. what can be done with a harp and effects pedals. Right. If you want to see all the really crazy stuff, you got to go to your channel. Yeah, we have all the craziest ones on my channel. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll see you uh, sometime soon. <laughs>